What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. So, really quick, guys, really quick. <clears throat> I don't want to take too long on this,、um, but I found this really interesting. And this is how big, this is how huge ga the gaming industry is.、Uh, the gaming industry is so strong and so powerful and so profitable that it actually affects、um, it actually affects the current wartime with Russia and Ukraine. Okay, so here I'm at Axios.com. It says Ukraine calls on gaming industry to suspend business with Russia, right? But why gaming? Okay, why gaming? You know, it says why it matters. The request is to attempt to rally Russian、uh, opposition to, to their country invasion of Ukraine. It was issued by in the in a letter published online this morning by Mykolyo Fodorov, Ukraine's prime minister and minister in digital trans trans transformation. Okay, so basically,、um, this is kind of like what happens when you pick a fight with other countries. You know, they can they can vote you out of the things that they are doing. They can vote you out out of the global economy. So,、um, the reason why I wanted to pick, you know, to bring this up, you know, I, I don't really care about Vladimir Putin that much. Vladimir Putin, you know, he's、uh, he's an asshole, right? I mean, that that dude is a straight up asshole, and. Now his people are going to suffer because he wanted to start a war with Ukraine. All right, so his selfish, you know, his selfish, you know, actions now is gonna is gonna cause the entire country. It's gonna cause the people because now、um, it's not it, it's not just video games. Because in Russia, yes, they do play video games, but it's also like a lot of you know, a lot of services are gonna be are gonna be suspended in Russia. Because of Vladimir Putin, right?、Um, and the reason why they're doing this is we are sure that such actions will motivate their citizens of Russia to proactively stop the disgraceful military aggression, right? So maybe Vladimir Putin will listen to his people and stop, you know, stop invading Ukraine.、Uh, on Twitter, Fedorov tag Xbox and PlayStation on the request, and、um, yeah, I mean. I don't. I don't know how big PlayStation and Xbox is on, you know, in Russia. But the point is that、uh, this is. It's just. It's just a war strategy, you know, trying to like trying to reduce your opponent's resources as much as possible, basically to starve them, right? And they're even getting. They're. They're even getting. You know, the esports into this, because, like I said, a lot of things. You. You have to understand that a lot of things、um, actually came from gaming. For example, a lot of a lot of graphics in movies,、um, you know, originated from from video games. You know,、um, a lot of the technology that we have,、uh, especially in the movie industry, is because of video games. Okay, a lot of people don't know this, but that's how influential video games are. You know, and、um, all right, and. He says between the lines, many video game companies outside of Ukraine have expressed support for the for the country by pledging humanitarian relief.、It、says few in the sector have already taken、uh, steps for the road request today. But on Saturday, Ukrainian digital marketplace D Market, which sells digital gear for for Counter Strike Go, told Axios it was blocking Russian and Belarusian accounts and freezing those users users assets. <laughs> Pretty much, yep. And it says two esports organization, Blast Premier and Elisa Esports, have both banned Russian teams. Right. So the reason why they're doing this, when the people of Russia, when they see, hey, you know, I understand that Blast, that our president wants to start a war, but why do we have to pay the price? You know, like we're just people. We want to live our, our our daily lives. We just want to play games. We want to be with our families. So this is gonna cost the people. Of Russia to have an uproar, you know, to basically go to war with their own president, kind of like what's happening in America in a way.、Um, you have Hollywood that canceled movies. Yes, Hollywood holds movie releases in Russia over Ukraine invasion. Yep, it says Apple on Tuesday said it was halting product sales in Ru in Russia. So the Apple company, Apple Inc., Steve Jobs Apple, is halting product sales in Russia because of the war. Okay, so the movies,、uh, the movies dovetail with a larger world worldview strategy to punish Russian economically for the invasion. Yeah, so basically, it's it's you know, they're what what this is doing. 
what this is doing is is gonna force people in Russia to go against their own government. And honestly, honestly, and if you understand how war how war works, Vladimir Putin is, is spending money and resources on war, and those money and that money and resources could go to the people to improve the lives of people in Russia, <clears throat> right? And when the quality of life starts to go down for the people of Russia because of all these things are being taken away, they're gonna go. They're gonna go to their president and they're gonna go to war with their own president. You understand? And so this is. I just found it so interesting and how basically how powerful the gaming industry is that it could actually that it really does affect uh, the decision making of a country at war. So. I just kind of wanted to put this out there. I thought it was really interesting because of what's happening now. Um, I don't know. This is probably the last video I'm going to make on Russia and Ukraine because this is an anime, an anime channel, anime, manga, video games, geek culture. But I just wanted to cover this real quick. So thank you for listening. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit, uh, hit the notification bell for future notifications. And um, thank you for watching. This is Andy Matrix. I'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed.